welcome to all those who know nothing about poetry because you've come to the right spot. My name's Phil A. Mignong and this is Medium Rare Poetry. In other words, poetry that is simple to understand and you don't need a university degree to delve between the lines. And yes, for those of you who are return visitors to my channel, I have a microphone now. Isn't it marvellous? All I've got to do now is figure out how to turn it on. You see, I record these videos on a mobile phone and this microphone has a USB connection and of course my mobile phone doesn't have a USB port. Anyway, I'll put that down because I can use it when I record poetry on my laptop, which is how I present the words to you. Speaking of poetry, today... I am going to present to you a poem that discusses our new arrangement with the United Kingdom and the United States, who the latter are going to build us a nuclear-powered submarine. Marvellous, you think. And the Brits are involved as well in support. Now, this uh, this submarine has a bit of controversy because prior to this decision being made, a previous government organised a contract with the French to build a stock standard diesel powered submarine. Uh, then a new government came in and they didn't like the idea of diesel powered submarines, even though we had had them all, these submarines all in the past. And we know how to operate them. So when it comes to nuclear power, once the decision was made and it was made public, everybody got up in arms about, oh, how are we going to how are we going to service a nuclear powered submarine? I said, just look it up on YouTube. You can learn anything from YouTube. Anyway, that didn't go down too well. So we have committed to buy these submarines from the United States and a little while ago the United States said oh, we've got to cut the budget on submarine productions and use the money elsewhere so their budget got cut in half which makes you wonder what's going to happen to our submarine when it's built if it ever gets built anyway I wrote a poem because this explains everything perfectly clearly the deal with the United Kingdom and the United States is known as AUKUS, A-U-K-U-S, which is Australia, United Kingdom, United States. Cute. Sounds like a sort of a sick killer whale to me, but anyway. So today I present to you the Six Inch Sub. The Six Inch Sub by Philae Mignon. Outstanding fighting heritage is honoured in Australia with toughness, grit and courage, intolerant of failure. We've always punched above our weight and take on any foe, defending our vast nations from all threats who'd take us low. Our army is amazing. It can conquer all terrain. Our air force is elusive reaching speeds that rate insane. Our navy is a powerhouse, for we are girt by sea. There's just one small department that can bring us to our knees. When submarines are mentioned, all the admirals like to duck. With underwater vessels, we don't seem to have much luck. We're excellent constructing almost any kind of boat. We understand the principles that craft are meant to float. But when it comes to submarines, they do reverse the trend. We're meant to make the damn thing sink and then come up again. And when you're underwater, there are obstacles galore, like reefs and whales and Russians, all these things you can't ignore. Our government's disbanded a whole host of prime shipyards. The water frontage real estate was worth a stack of cards. They chose to have casinos built to flood their vaults with cash instead of training young cadets to give a sub a bash. It was proclaimed efficient 
to procure overseas the submarines we needed to befit our southern needs. Provided that the instruments had English designations, we wouldn't want controls obliged to render slow translations. Now submarines are pricey, deals are hard to navigate. You're always at the mercy of our dollar's exchange rate. To top that off, these deals are made by inept politicians who change their minds when spooked by any form of superstition. The French were asked to make for us some subs, the class croissant. The power source was frog's legs, and oh, that we did not want. We shredded that agreement, only cost a half a bill, and turned to Uncle Sam, whose mighty navy gave us chills. We paid two-thirds deposit. These were AUKUS chummy fees. Our subs would be marauding under sunny Aussie seas. Agreement be broken when your cash reserves are starved. The Yankees cut their budget. Sub-production then was halved. Our option was to take a craft that was not the fullest quid, with half the length and half the height and only half a lid. The semi-sub, it now was named for semi-friend Australia, a semi-circular submarine sent via semi-trailer. The UK was a partner, a triumvirate of trust. They were employed as servicemen to buff off any rust. They built a brand new shipway in remoter South Australia and camouflaged the compound with a hedge of pink azaleas. Christened by our elbow as the AUKUS co-op slipway, although the locals labelled it the shortcut drive through subway. The compromises thus ensured this U-boat was a tub. We came to be proud parents of the world's first six inch sub. The half-bake alterations meant our latest acquisition had left us with a weapon that was not in top condition. The nuclear reactor, which was half the rated size, producing half the power, one propeller compromised. It only had one missile to protect our population. The public viewed the enterprise as planning copulation. The extent of its deployment was reduced by half as well, as far as Norfolk Island, though dependent on the swell. It was fortunate the UN soon declared the world at peace. No need for building warships, as all conflicts now had ceased. So what to do with AUKUS, our expensive semi-sub? A conference thus was scheduled at a classy Canberra pub. The subset, gathered thither, wore a storming of the brains. Proposals weren't forthcoming, though the beer poured down like rain. When finally a barfly raised his hand in all timidity, just plant the phallus upright as a tribute to stupidity. So there we go. A rollicking seafaring tale with our baby submarine. The funny thing about having a nuclear powered, and I should point out it's not nuclear armed, it's just nuclear powered, is that our very best friends, the New Zealanders, would not allow this vessel into their harbour harbours because they don't have any nuclear powered anything's allowed into their waters or on their lands. So that's a bit of a shame. And we also are no longer friends with the French because President Macron was rather cross about losing the contract, as you would be. They had all their diesel mechanics standing by and now nothing. So it's all a mess. Anyway, I hope you like the poem. Please like, share and subscribe and press the notification bell. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.